Zach Thompson's numbers. Brought to you by the Pennsylvania Lottery. His numbers uh, much better before the last couple of starts when things kind of ballooned up on him, but he had been pitching extremely well. And uh, I'd like to get back to that. You know, it, there's always going to be a couple of those uh, games during the season where you throw up a snowman, but you just got to put it behind you. Even an 18 against the Phillies, and no ribby, at least this at bat for Adamas as Zach Thompson registers his first strikeout. Oh, pretty pitch. The breaking ball. Perfect. Zach Thompson, perfect to the first three batters of this ball game, and now the Pirates come to bat. Brandon Woodruff gets the start for the Brewers, his 16th of the year, and he has been brilliant since coming off the injured list. So two on for Cruz, who has homered in each of the first two games of this series. Woodruff on 0-2 throws. Got him. There's the changeup. Cruz out in front of it. And the Pirates strand a pair. First strike out of the game for Brandon Woodruff. Uh, Allen with that pitch in the dirt. Takes off immediately. A wild pitch. Delay stayed put at first. And now they're on the corners. Two on and two out for Tucapita Marcano. Try and beat you any way he can. There's ball four. Here comes Allen for the plate, and he's going to score as the ball pops out of Caratini's mitt. A gift run, one nothing. That gives you a little bit of an idea of what speed could do for you right there. Caratini had a big pinch hit last night that started a game tying eighth inning rally in that game. Caratini to right. Well struck, way back there, and tie game. Caratini. With a solo home run, his eighth of the year. Yeah, Got to feel good for Victor and Tony for that pass ball to allow a run to score. On a 2-1 pitch, 15th home run allowed by Thompson this year, and he ties it up. Some traffic against Woodruff today. Here's Hayes, who had a base hit his first time. To third, could be two. Brasso goes to Wong. That's one. Drum throw to oh, first. Yeah. Double play. Boy, how about that play by Colton Wong? He ended up right around where Willie Adamas normally is on the momentum after making that throw to first base. Renfro looking for his first hit in this series. He's 0 for 9 so far. On a Renfro out towards left center. Long run. Gamble not going to be able to catch up to it. It's off the base of the fence. Lead off double for Hunter Renfro to get the offense going in the fifth. Boy, he's been really good on off speed pitches since the break. Ground ball to first base. Runner at third less than two outs. To Mike Brasso now. Brasso to right. That'll be well deep enough, no doubt about it. It is gone. A home run for Mike Brasso. Brewers take the lead on a two run shot, his fifth of the year. It was going to be plenty whether or not it was caught, and even better, it got out of the ballpark. Well, now the umpires are going to get together and chat with the folks in New York and see whether or not the ball cleared the barrier. After review, the call in the field is confirmed. It is a home run. One out single for the Speedy Davis. He's got great speed. Let's see if he might try and steal a base. Oh, got him. Johan Ramirez and Bly Madris combined to pick off Jonathan Davis. He was definitely running. Will be permitted to start the seventh inning. Strike three call. Yelich down on strikes. For a third time today. Yeah. Uh oh. That means some weather coming in. The old trick elbow. Christian. Christian Yelich just got thrown out. Craig Council is coming out to argue. Christian Yelich was barking a little bit after he got called out on the last couple of at bats on pitches that are down in the zone. And Yelich. Is going to go get a little piece of Jerry Meals too. Christian Yellis didn't like that last call that Jerry Meals rung him up on, very similar to the last pitch that Woodruff threw that was called a ball. And now Craig just got tossed out by Jerry Meals as he was trying to protect Christian Yelich. And Allen's going to streak to third. And now Bucks on the pond, top of the order coming up with Tukapita. And a base hit for Tukapita. Marcano makes it three to two. One two pitch, slapped it into left. Bucks within one. What an at bat. My goodness, what an at bat. That is going to be it. Pat Murphy, the acting manager, is going to go to his bullpen. Brad Boxberger will be summoned by the acting manager. Gamble line drive, base hit into right field. 
Delay does not run well. Here's the throw to the plate. He's going to be safe. And this game is tied as Ben Gamble delivers his second hit of the day. They've come back again. It's three all. This is just like the first two. 3-3 game and Milwaukee will send up Colton Wong to start it off. Got a line drive down the left field line. It's a fair ball headed towards the corner. Extra base hit for Colton Wong. He's going to extend the hitting streak and get the Brewers offense going in the ninth. Good piece of hitting by Colton. Leadoff man at second for Hunter Renfro. Bunting up the first baseline. Chavis Fields, he will tag out Renfro. But moving to third is Colton Wong. What an unselfish play from Hunter Renfro. Well, Victor Caratini will be walked intentionally. And they'll set up a double play possibility for Mike Brasso. And it hit him. 96. And it hits Mike Brasso. The bases are going to be loaded for Jonathan Davis. And it won't be Davis. Tyrone Taylor is coming up. And oh, what a stop, Hayes! There's one! Oh, zip, zap, kazoo! The Buckos just turned two! What a play by Key Brian Hayes! That's the definition of a game saver right there. Telez holds the bag, and there's two outs. And now Marcano. Telez off his glove and in the shallow right. Marcano turns first. He's headed for second. The throw from Wong in time. Marcano's out. He's out trying to stretch the infield single into a double. Telez is going to be intentionally walked here by the Pirates. And that means Andrew McCutcheon gets to come up with a couple of men aboard. 3 0 pitch. Off the plate away, ball four. Taylor to third. Telez to second. And McCutcheon at first. And here comes Colton Wong. The Brewers will take the lead on a bases loaded hit by pitch. They take him any way you can get him. Runs have been hard to come by for the crew today. You're hoping that Hunter Renfro can deliver a bunch of insurance right here. Line to left coming on oh, to make a diving catch. Ben Gamble. Oh boy, right before it got to the grass, he's able to pluck it out of the air. Well, Brian Reynolds could do it again, leading off. An inning. Extra inning games. Fly ball to right. Toward the line. And that's going to get down. That's a fair ball. It's a tie game. Brian Reynolds ties it at four. And he's at second with nobody out. That ball just inside the line. It stayed in the air for a while. Thought maybe it was going to be foul. Just dropped inside the line. Bounced out of play. So trading places with Marcano now. Key Brian Hayes gets the job done to advance the winning run to within 90 feet of the plate. And O'Neill Cruz is coming up. O'Neill Cruz is going to be intentionally walked. And that'll load the bases. Gets away. Here comes the winning run. Walk it off on a wild pitch. Pirates sweep the Brewers. Raise the Jolly Roger. The sweep.